All praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Akakadash, the brothers to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and Shalawam to the, to the nation of Israel. And this is just going to be a quick video <clears throat> on something I was thinking about, man, and how a lot of these Christians are hypocrites, man, and a lot of these scoffers against the Hebrew Israelites are hypocrites as well. Because when you look at these numbers on the screen here, right? You're, and, and forget the 295 and the 226 because those are electoral um, college votes, right? Which are the only votes that matter, by the way. But look at the vote numbers at the bottom, right? 73,407,735 and 69,074,145, right? And then if you was to add those numbers together, that's the total number of people that live in America that decided to cast their votes to decide who is going to be the next president of the country, right? And most of these people would be people that have heard the Hebrew Israelite doctrine and scoffed, right? And then on top of that, how many of those people are actually Israelites, as in Latino, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? And then on top of that, how many of those people that would be from all the groups that I mentioned would claim themselves to be Christians? How many, right? And then when you think of those numbers, then you have to think, okay, these people are talking about how um, the Hebrew Israelites are so evil and the Hebrew Israelites are so wicked. But look at who they voted. Who look at who they voted for, right? Look at look look at out of the two choices, right? And it's not a thing to say, oh, who's who's more this and who's more that, who's better. I'm just talking about as far as personality wise. They're both proud, but somehow. He's more proud than her, and she's proud as hell anyway, her own self. But he's more even more proud than what she is, man. Right? There's not m many people on this earth that have got more of a proud attitude than this guy. But people would try and talk about Hebrew Israelites as if we're just the most evil scumbags on the earth. Right? But look at who people voted for. 73 million. Seven, let's, let's just round it up a bit. 73.5 million. Right? People voted and said, this is who we want. This is who we choose, right? But then let's say that he lost. Well, still 60, damn near 70 million people chose for this other person. So either way it goes, all you people that have got something to say about the Israelites, look at who you think is good to rule over you though. You got a problem with us wanting to rule, but you don't understand that these people that you're choosing to rule over you anyway, they're going to rule with a rod of iron. You've got a problem with us saying that we're going to rule with a rod of iron. But what do you think they're getting ready to do? Whether it was going to be the person on the left side of the screen or the person on the right hand side of the screen, both of them work for the same team. And they both would have, would have, and will be trying to rule over you people with a rod of iron anyway, because they are the lower levels of something much bigger that a lot of you people don't have a clue about, man. A lot of you people don't have a clue. And you've got all this to say about the Israelites, but for all you Bible believers out there, shouldn't you be shouldn't you be thinking about Bible prophecy? Shouldn't you be hoping for the kingdom of heaven? You shouldn't be hoping for these earthly kingdoms. You should be hoping for the uh, heavenly kingdom to come down on earth as it is in heaven, like the scriptures say. But it just shows the hypocrisy of most of these scoffers and mockers against the Bible, man. And I again, and it's more so specifically against the true way how the Bible is supposed to be um, spoken about that the Hebrew Israelites teach, which is the reason why people don't like us, because we're telling the truth, man. And now I'm gonna say shalom to the elected nation of Israel, shalom.